For this next section, we're going to be attaching our PTFE tube to the hot end and the cold end, also known as the extruder. So when you're talking about 3D printers, you can actually split them into two different groups. Ones that use a Bowden connectors and one that has a direct drive. These are words you'll come across all the time, but we'll actually go over it in a little bit of depth here. So the big difference is whether or not you're using this little white tube that is attached to a wire loom. So this tube is called a PTFE tube. Uh, it's also known as Teflon, that's the uh, business name I guess. Um, and it's really just a low friction plastic. So when your extruder is pushing your filament through, it meets very little resistance as it then goes into the hot end and it can be melted and then squirted out to make your model. Because we have the PTFE tube, it needs to be attached to something. And this is where we have our Bowden connectors. These are really simple little things that you can find in 3D printers, but also in a lot of water, uh, water fountains, stuff like that, uh, where you need to have a really tight seal. And the way they work is they have little teeth on there. So as soon as you push the PTFE tube in there, you can use one of these little blue clips to insert it into it and it holds and grabs onto that tube really well. And then as soon as you want to take the tube out, you can take this little clip off, push in this little gray circle, and then you can take out the PTFE tube. Pretty easy. So we're going to start off on the cold end where we're going to be grabbing our uh, little Bowden connectors. I'll actually turn it front side for you guys. And we're going to be grabbing this and screwing it into the little brass fitting on our extruder. And we can also take our double-sided wrench and tighten this up. Doesn't need to be ridiculously tight, just as tight as you can go. Then we can grab our PTFE tube and insert it in. And it's really important you want to push it in as deep as you can until you feel it kind of uh, hit the dead end of it. Then we can grab one of these blue clips. We want to go for the smaller one and we're going to insert it in between that gap. There we go. And we also want to double check the hot end PTFE tube just by simply giving it a little wiggle and pushing down so there's no gap in between the underside of the PTFE tube and the top side of our nozzle. Then we can grab our little blue clip and insert it in there in the exact same way. It doesn't matter if you do it top or bottom. And then to finish it off, we're going to grab a little loom and push it into these little clips right next to our extruder. That's going to keep everything nice and organized so when everything is printing, you don't get any mistakes. <laughs> 